So, look, I ordered this wig, right? And I was like, let me try a bob because I haven't really tried a bob in a long time. And I was just like, okay, let me let me get this. I want I want one of those pre-everything wigs. So, I did order this, okay? This is from Eunice, and it comes with the robe and all the little goody goodies that it's supposed to come with, okay? Okay, whatever, whatever. So, this is a, a closure wig, and it comes with combs and adjustable sh no, it comes with combs and an elastic band, okay? Now, um, taking out this wig, I did notice that this hair was super silky and it did not have any smells to it, which is a plus for me. Um, and everything is done for you. So it's pre-plug, pre pre-bleached, the lace is cut for you, the, and it's, the hair is basically styled. Now, as you can see, the, the knots or the roots is hot. So we are going to fix them. Um, during this video, but this is the cap construction and you could tell that the knots are bleached because of the color of the lace underneath Okay, so this is me um, This is the wig after I went in and flat ironed it to my liking now this wig was a little bit longer I did go in and cut it. Okay, and um, So I was just showing you the roots and like I said, it's a super easy fix, but look how flowy this hair is this is definitely another wig that I would be like, yeah, you could go in and color it because this hair is, is, is hitting, okay? So, anyway, um, yeah, I need to get my hair rebraided because my braids are too big underneath this. My hair is definitely too long. So, um, I'm just going to put, force this cap on my hair real quick because, yeah. And um, once I have it on, I'm just going to brush her because, like, I already did majority of the work. Well, you Eunice did majority of the work. I just, you know, perfected to my liking. And so I'm going to go ahead and take some um, Red, Red by Kiss spray. And I'm going to put that in the front of my hairline. And I'm going to blow dry it until it gets tacky. And then I'm going to lay down the lace. And then I'm going to blow dry the lace and the glue together until it's completely dry. And yes, that's what I like to do. Um, I don't typically like to use glue anymore because like I said in my previous videos, I am suffering from postpartum shedding. So anywhere around my temples, I like to not have too much like tension. So I don't use glue and I do not use, I do not mold my stocking caps down anymore. So I'm going to take some got to be glue and I'm going to take some on the tip of my nail and just put it underneath where the edge of the lace is because I do not want that thing flapping up saying hello to anybody I walk past. You feel me? So I'm going to take a little bit and then I'm going to take the blow dryer and blow dry it down just to make sure that it's laid all the way down. After I blow dry it down, I'm going to just go ahead and comb it just to make sure that every strand of hair is sitting where it's supposed to. I'm going to take my red my red by Kiss, um, or Ruby Kisses. I don't, I get both of those names mixed up. Ruby Kisses makeup in the shade 16, and I'm just going to pat the front of the lace just because, as you can see, that color matches my natural skin tone perfectly okay now to fit fix those roots i'm gonna take some darkest brown or you could take black or whatever like that i like the darkest brown i'm gonna take some on a brush and i'm gonna just go ahead and color those roots now this is semi-permanent hair color this is going to be a temporary color on the roots and you will not be able to clap those like that color is not going to wear off unless you wash your units a couple of times okay so this is definitely the best thing to do when it comes to coloring your roots or you can use permanent dye it's up to you but semi-permanent is just easier because you could just leave it on there and just go on about your day so i'm gonna take my wax stick and put that on my uh parting in the front of my hairline and i'll take my heat protectant because it gives a nice shine like it like i compare that spray to like um bio silk but in a spray form okay so I'm just going to press the parting in the front of my hairline just to make sure that it's sitting where I need her to sit so she could look good and so she could be flat so nobody could clock. You understand, okay?
once I get the hairline in order, I am going to take my flat iron and just make sure that this bob is giving bob and she's bone straight, okay? I like to call these bobs Lauren because I just seen Lauren London wear a bob and I always started calling bobs Lauren after I seen her because her bob was bobbing. So all these bobs are called Lauren London's, <laughs> okay? But yeah, I like to go in and just make sure that everything is silky and flat. I did notice that this was definitely giving a little bit of asymmetric in the front. So I just went in with my clippers and made it all of it even. See, I'm noticing it right now. I'm like, mm, the little front is a little longer and I don't like that. I like my blob bobs to be blunt and even, not asymmetric. So I just went in and uh, took my clippers my Conair clippers and I clipped it see I clipped it just to make sure that it's, it was given what I wanted to give like I want to give soccer mom but I want to give soccer mom with, with with some pizzazz like I don't I don't want asymmetrics I, I do not <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to cut it. Um, I'm going to cut the tips off the front of the hairline. And it's going to do exactly what I want it to do. It's just basically going to be jaw length, blunt. And I love that. Okay. This hair is super shiny. And I did not put any conditioner on it. Or a cellophane. Or like a clear cellophane at that. I did use cellophane, but not like on the entire hair. It's so nice. All the hairs are in place. If you're interested, I will definitely leave this down below in the description box for you. Bye, best friend.